This is hydrogen tap. I decided that after long consideration that the importance of this find is too much to keep it under wraps. What you see here is the project that I've been working on. The meter on the left side is your volts. That's 11.90. And the meter on the right is your amps. As you probably noticed by now, there is considerable amount of hydrogen being produced with only 2.43 amps. This video will go on for about nine minutes. And I will have to reset the, or take off the battery because the amount of hydrogen it's producing is too much for the room that it's in. I'm going to put this cell in an enclosed environment so that we can measure the output but for now I've noticed such an increase in productivity of this cell that I thought it would be of interest it's been a long day here in a lot of steady work on this project. As you can see, I have the battery we're using in the background. At the end of the video, I will be putting on a charging system, which will bring the voltage up to around 13 volts. I've taken sample readings of the heat or the temperature of the water and it seems to be hovering around 80 degrees. I know it will go up since in a minute you're going to see the amperage go up as the temperature of the water rises so will the amperage. This is a controlled process and even though the amperage does go up it does not matter for all we have to do is control the heat in the water. You should also note that this is distilled water and I'm using lye for the electrolyte. It's pretty hard to get a grasp on just how much hydrogen is coming out of this cell and it's almost unimaginable that it, it's even doing this. I did notice that there's a positive and negative to it, meaning that it uses more amperage in one direction than the other. Not much, but it does. The cell is working because what I have done is figure the maximum point on the plates. For the amount of surface area. In other words, that there is a definite mathematical basis in which you can get the highest performance from every cell. That doesn't sound like any 
earth-shattering theory, but evidently not too many other people have come to this. It's my belief that the Meyer cell and the other cells that you've been looking or that I've been looking at using tubes aren't producing any more than I'm producing here. As you can see, we're at about 75 degrees. There are all kinds of coincidences in science, and perhaps this is just one of them. I don't think you need to measure the output of this cell to realize just how much hydrogen it's putting out. This is only a 12 volt battery and we're only operating less than 3 amps. If you multiply that out, the other videos you've been watching or I've been watching, they're using between 10 and 15 amps, and they're upping their voltage, and their cells are much larger. Remember, this is only using, not even using 3 amps to get this. That blackout you saw was because transferring the file over, I have to hold down a button, and I got tired of holding down the button. I have decided I'm going to be showing more of this. I have not decided on what I'm going to do with it yet. The good news is that it exists. I keep seeing that burst of energy flowing up there and noting that one of my emails was reminding me that one of the other videos showed a burst of energy coming up and when I went to that video the amperage was much higher than this. What I'm going to do is try to get this working at even lower amperage. And the way you do that is you have to figure out the exact mathematical equation for it. I'm no math wizard. So it's going to take me a little longer than most. There's also a relationship with the way the cells are configured. I think that the most interesting part of this is that it does exist. It doesn't matter how it works. It matters that it does. Whether or not a pulse system works, I don't know. I've been working with them and haven't gotten any better results than I'm showing you here without any pulse system. There is no pulse system here. This is a straight 12 volt battery. Now I'm putting a charger on it. I'll show you what happens when you bring the charge up.